I got a new ring light. And it's a different setup today. Welcome back, boo. And if you're new here, my name is Carolyn Gray. And typically, I talk about fashion and entrepreneurship journey living here in New York City. But today, we're going to do another fashion post because... That's where I'm at right now. Like, I'm super busy with Noir, but don't get me wrong, but I feel like there's a couple of topics that are perfect to discuss within the month of January, considering we are purging, we're resetting, we are rethinking how we are using the items around us, the relationships around us, and all these other things. We're doing a lot of mindset um, resets right now, right? So at the top of the month, I was like, you know what? Let me try something called a capsule wardrobe and by definition let me just a capsule wardrobe is simply a collection of clothing composed of thoughtfully curated easily interchangeable items designed to maximize the number of outfits that you can create and the reason why I figured I could do this is because the reality is as much as I have going on and in, in my closet um I know it's a lot y'all I won't talk about it because I know it's a lot going on in there. But I do use the hell out of all of my items. And I know that if I'm buying something and I'm investing in a fashion item, it has to be interchangeable with seven, seven other pieces and outfits. Like I have to see seven full outfits with that one piece. Otherwise, I cannot buy it. Um... I mean, now I can't buy nothing at all because it's like I got to put my whole body into the rack to pull the things out. And I pulled the pieces that I'm going to discuss out already and it's on the bed over here because I don't want y'all to see me struggle in there, okay? So, I'm doing this whole TikTok challenge thing. I, I self-assigned myself this TikTok challenge. This is my own TikTok challenge. I don't know if anyone else is doing it, but I said, hey, what the hell? I want to grow there. I want to build a community there. Let me do a challenge. <laughs> so, it's 31 days. 31 looks, 31 pieces. Um, the capsule wardrobe for me, at first when I was looking it up, I was like, you know, how does one start a capsule wardrobe? How many pieces should it be? And I saw numbers from like 25 to 35 and I said, you know what? 31 days of January, let me pick 31 pieces. It was a little weird at first because I'm like, you know, I have a lot of statement pieces and that's who I am. I mean, today I'm wearing this like, vintage shirt that I cut up on the side and I'm wearing jeans from Fashion Nova. It's my first purchase from Fashion Nova and I'm not mad at it. I'll show I'll show you the full thing later. And I'm wearing loafers from Massimo Dutti. Dutti. Duty. <laughs> it is my duty to please that booty. Anyway, um but usually I wear pieces that stand out whether it's on its own or a full standout look. So I'm like, how do I build a capsule collection with my type of wardrobe? And all the other examples that I was seeing was super basic. Um, so I was like, this is this might be a little boring for me. I know. But the thing is, I will say, I'm finding that it's really fun to think of all these different concepts and how many items. I can literally, like, when I was thinking about the outfits, one item can build 30 outfits you know so it, I feel that it did extend my creativity when curating the, you know wardrobes around certain pieces but I see why a lot of people do it it's so easy it's very manageable it's so less time consuming to to figure out what you're gonna wear and now I understand how like some people who are fashion people have literally one rack and they got space in between their clothes and it's literally like 20 pieces on the rack and that is all that they need. And then they have their accessories. So the capsule that I curated has um, just the, the clothing items, no coats, because I'm a New Yorker. We don't do a limitation on coats. <laughs> you just, you just, like if you move here, you're going to realize like, oh, I need coats nothing but coats like every year you're going to get a coat and you're going to keep the ones that you had from before you're going to have old ass coats that look phenomenal because it's a thing here we do coats um so i didn't include coats because i didn't want to limit that and i felt that all the outfits that i curated look great with most of the coats that i have and so the other component of the capsule were shoes which was also really difficult because baby y'all know i'm a shoe whore not a bag whore, but I'm a shoe whore. 
I'm going to turn into a bag whore this year. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, let's start with tops. I felt that it was really imperative to have a couple of tops um, that can interchange with several different bottoms, right? There are a few pieces that are not going to be pictured here because they're in the wash. That's the other thing with having a capsule wardrobe. You got to do wash day often and i'm not about that life child i don't have time to be in the laundromat i don't have time to go and do my laundry all the damn time i don't really believe in fluff and fold either because you're not going to touch my panties but some of the things are not pictured so like for example a white tee and i feel like i'm gonna have to do a youtube video on the concept of a white tee and what looks fresh and ele elevated and just chic because you can get a white t-shirt but it can go really wrong really fast okay so i choose to have white t-shirts that are either tight crew neck okay so you can build and stack jewelry around or just it's a cleaner aesthetic or a deep v it's either the crew neck or the deep v nothing in between no u-line no little drapey drape no little box don't i'm not doing a square neck okay it's not for me. Um, hold on, my mom is calling. Hey, lovely, I'm doing a YouTube video right now. How you doing? <laughs> Hi and bye. Hi and bye. I'll call you right back when I'm finished this one. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay. Um, so yes. So basically, I'm really into the white tees that are tight around my neck or very loose around my neck so it can expose the cleavage, the decolletage, right? So I have a white tee from Cost that I was using. I also was using an oversized t-shirt in black from Sunder Bay, something that is a heavy material, super structured, and it can go with so many different things. Um, and then I also had a black turtleneck from um, ATM, which I love the material that they use. It's super soft. It's ribbed. Um, they do it every season. It could be slightly sheer, um, just a tad, but it's tasteful. And I feel like those three items of tops, also a button down. Everything is in the wash, honey. I didn't think about this. I'm sorry. But I have a white button down. I'm going to picture everything, though. I have a white button down from Sunder Bay as well. That's like a satin, heavy, oversized look. And that really, it just, it almost looks like some of the items I would wear back-to-back -back days. Because that's how often I would use certain pieces. Um, but love, love those tops. And even with, like, statement bottoms, it just pops. So let's get into a couple other tops that I thought were really important to have. And y'all know how I feel about this. I made a video about this situation, hoodies. I felt that a hoodie, this is the Fenty um, slit on the side. A hoodie can go with so many things and be worn as a scarf too. Like that is just easy peasy. Another item that I threw in was just a regular light gray oversized sweatshirt also. A scarf moment situation but honestly this with a nice pair of like silky white pants which is also part of the uh, capsule is really chic with a pair of loafers okay so we have a t-shirt two different t-shirts one that's sim simply fitted one oversized in black and white a button down a hoodie a gray sweatshirt I also think that having a gray set also from Be Iconic is super important because you can use the sweatshirt or the sweatpants together or separate. I do believe in sets. I don't believe in all types of sets, but I do believe in a sweatsuit set. You need that. Um, and then I was like, you know, I can't just have all basic colors, right? So I threw in this oversized, y'all know how I feel about this neon sweater from Zara. This sweater can honestly go with so much. It's a neon, yes, but to be honest, this is a neutral color to me. The The way that this particular like citrusy lime neon sweater can go with so many different things, check this out. This is another statement piece that I decided to pull into the capsule. I pulled in this button down leather shirt from Helmet Lang. Look how this lays together. To me, these are two neutrals. Think what you want, yay or nay, we can disagree, we can agree to disagree, 
but I do feel that this can go with so many different things. So I wanted to have a couple pieces that were a little bit more stand out, but still serves as a basic. Um, and that's why I chose this leather piece because it's the color, honestly, and the fit of it. It can be worn as a jacket as well as a shirt. So the variety of usage is there. And then it goes so nicely with so many different bottoms, um, as well as over dresses and things like that. So I was like, yeah, let's throw in this piece because she she's a moment she's a quiet moment so these are basically my tops and i have one more top but i'm be honest when i purged last week the little bit that i did <clears throat> um i don't like this one anymore but i use it for this capsule wardrobe because it makes sense the reason why i got rid of this crew neck sweater which i think you need a crew neck sweater you need a turtleneck sweater as as part of these tops and then you need a cardigan which i'll show you in a bit i don't like this quality you know no shade to zara and affiliated brands right um but there's some pieces of zara that are really great like they're made so well and it gives wealth it gives investment piece for 35 dollars. but then they have like some other pieces where i'm just like this is so itchy this will not um age well the pilling you can already start seeing it to start to pill or it wants to pill um it's just i i felt like you know as much as i see how often i can use a piece like this i don't like this particular one so i did toss it and i pulled it back in because i was like oh let me make sure i show you guys excuse me that sweater but it's in the bin with the pieces that are going out i would really love to replace that with a cashmere crew neck sweater in the same color um because it can go with a lot more and i do actually want a little bit of a different silhouette that billows out a bit because then it gives me an option to drape it a bit more to make it longer to belt it actually i'm not that girl to belt something like that but there's an option to belt there's an option to belt and when it comes to other sweaters that i incorporated i use my handy dandy kiff sweater um again something that really stands out but is a basic silhouette and in a nice color the navy with this um yellow very collegiate love this situation this actually reminded me of like some of the the high school sweaters that we had back in the day at Towson Catholic my alma mater that closed anyway um but yeah I was like I love me a good cardigan and now we're in the dead of winter you know even though mother nature is like oh you're gonna get this 70 degrees real quick or you're gonna get these torrential downpours because I'm gonna teach you a lesson you know I'm gonna still stay warm because I dress for the season and not the reason hey daddy my dad taught me that one because his grandma my grandma taught him that dress for the season and not the reason but we sometimes dress for both like this this is both this is for season and for the reason i love to wear this cardigan with no shirt underneath it just a bra and my and my necklaces i think that taking a menswear piece like this and using it like that it just brings in the femininity and it gives it variety as well it goes with so many things like i had to be careful not to overuse it but I would it's it's a great piece and the quality of it's so thick it's a beautiful I think it's a cotton knit um let me just double check Kif always does really well yep yeah, 100% cotton um and machine washable something like this I would take to the dry cleaners and take this pin off but yeah I said I need a cardigan and if I'm going to go with a cardigan I don't want to go too light with it too thin with it let's do heavy duty so as far as tops are concerned like things that I wouldn't necessarily always wear as a jacket those are the pieces as well as what's a capsule wardrobe without a denim jacket what is a capsule wardrobe without a denim jacket wear it as a regular shirt as a jacket as something you throw over your shoulders pop the collar let me hear you holler and it's a vibe it's always going to be a vibe um this i got from asos a little while ago and it's super clutch i wear it under my khaki trench i wear it under 
everything actually even a bubble vest this is super cute with um but i love the looks that i curated with this and i was like oh yeah this is this is a no-brainer going along with like tops and jackets okay i also brought in because it wouldn't be carolyn gray without a big ass blazer i have an issue with blazers as far as i don't know when to stop buying them <laughs> I buy a lot of them. Yep. It's a thing. Summer and winter. Don't matter. Oh, 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 oh the blazer. I, um, I just love them. I love me a good blazer. And this is one of my favorites. The coveted has the bands on the sleeve, the hair ties. Um, Frankie Shop. It's just, she just, she's smart. She billows out. She's a little bit of a cape. And this over everything there's so many outfits that I see using a blazer. Like, it's a simple, it's a simple add-on, but it just gives. She's smart. She's she knows where she's going in life. And just throwing it over your shoulders too, like easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. But had to throw in a blazer, and because it's me, I'm gonna have more than one blazer in a capsule. By default, because, because I think a suit is really important in a capsule. So another brand favorite of mine um, that I love to follow is Sunder Bay. I have three, two other pieces in this capsule from Sunder Bay. It's a UK based brand. Um, their basics, their basics are basic, right? However, the quality, the structure, tailoring it is just so on point they just i don't know like bless them okay i have this suit from them pinstripe i also have this in black and it comes with a beautiful darted um a beautiful pleated pant oh, i just love this so obviously you can use the pants in so many different combinations with tops and sweaters. And then you can use it together, use different tops with the blazer by itself, draping it over the shoulder. It is just phenomenal. This suit is everything to me. I think that everyone should have a suit. Actually, I do have it in white because it's not summer wardrobe in there. I do have this in white as well because how many different ways you can wear a suit. So I do think having a suit is super imperative in a capsule because it's another form of a set sweatsuit set and a suit set i'm here for those two i don't know too much about the sweater sets like sometimes not all the time i'm not here for it but going along with bottoms now that we touched on a pair of pants this skirt y'all know maxi skirts are in and I just think that a maxi skirt, especially with a slit in the back or some form of slit somewhere in the front, is just so regal. And honestly, this could go with so many combinations. And if this wasn't a trending situation, a pencil skirt, a midi skirt, so many situations. So I had to put in a skirt. I had to put in my favorite. Like, if someone said, if your house was burning and you had to grab one pair of pants, what, what pant would it be? It would be my Bottegas from what pre-fall 2020, pre-fall 2020. These wide leg, what are you doing on my pant? Dusty. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm allergic to dust. Um, anyway, so <laughs> this is so linty. What, were, what was on you? Oh my God, are you okay? You get a lint roller, Jesus. Okay, but this pair of pants, child. I wear, I wear it with this sweater. I, there's so many different things. There, it's seen so many different stories. I've already had to hem them twice because I've like I ripped the hem a few times just by like putting a shoe that just hooked onto the thing too easily. But they're so well made. They're, they are a summer wool, but I wear them year round. And yeah, I actually got them on super duper sale as well. I think it was like 200 bucks that I got these for. I, but I think... They were on Saks and they were sold out. 
but they had the sizes still able to click on and do a wish list or a, a notifier for and i think that's how i got these i saw that a size four came back in or size six and i ordered them immediately like i got a text message notification ordered them immediately took them to my tailor got them taken in because they were a size too big for me um but i did what i had to do baby but yeah, as far as bottoms, like dressier bottoms are concerned, those are the ones that I chose for this capsule. And then, uh, let's get more into the casual wear of the bottom. So going along with the skirt, I did do this midi length denim skirt with that slit in the front from Zara. And yeah, this also, you know what's crazy? As interchangeable as this particular item is, I did not wear it as much. Like, I didn't use it throughout the capsule as much as other pieces. But this did. This does give. It does give. Um, love this. And even in the similar length, probably a little bit longer, I have a black version. And already getting a lot of wear. And I got that one from the Kate sale. Um, I, will be lo I will be linking these items or similar items if they're sold out um if anything tap into my like to know it i'll also link it below i'm going to start using that a lot more and maybe doing like weekly newsletters of different things that i'm seeing um because for example yesterday i posted or day before i posted a video about um leather brown leather pants and how to style them several different ways and one girl, D, uh, she commented, she was like, oh, I wish I got a different color besides a black pair of leather pants. And I said, you know what's crazy? I got a notification that Skims is dropping a full leather collection and they actually have a really nice pair of pants that are going to drop with the collection. And I gave her the information and stuff like that. Like I want to be able to alert people because sometimes I buy things and I've had them for years and they're sold out. And if I'm browsing, which I do often because I work with clients one on one shopping for them, then I would like to alert more people about different items that are so beautiful and clutch to have and getting them in a timely fashion. So I will be posting more of my like to know it and I will be doing a newsletter on my website, which I'll also link below so you can subscribe to. Um, anyway, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like what's going on. OK, anyway, so the next pair of casual bottoms are cargos i mean why not and this khaki color which goes with so many items oh my god and these are just beautiful they're actually one two size too big but it's okay i'll probably get them taken in like everything else um but they just they they move my spirit and i think that it's a it's a basic silhouette it's a basic neutral color but it doesn't give basic you know what i'm saying it gives it gets special. It gives a bit of special. And what's a wardrobe without a pair of denim? Now, I honestly have been on the hunt for um, new denim. And I'm, I'm doing my best. I shopped the frames uh, sale over the holiday. I went on Fashion Nova and I got something. I told you before. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. But... I'm trying to find jeans that are fitting me a little bit more closer to the body. And it's for me, it's hard to find jeans that make me feel really confident. Shopping for denim is really hard. So I might do a shopping vlog where I go to Saks or something. We try on a bunch of different jeans and see what really works because it's hard out here. It's hard out here for like, for me, like I'm slim and I don't have no booty. Like it's just, so everything just makes me feel like insecure when it comes to that area. And then I know that when it comes to women that have really like, the curves, the voluminous curve, like it's hard to shop for denim too because you always have that gap, you know. So I want to venture out and see what other types of brands are out there, and even try Good American because I heard good things about them. But anyway, I digress. I chose to put a pair of baggier denim jeans into this capsule because I just feel more comfortable in this particular pair i feel like they're just cooler they give me a little bit of edge a little bit of zhuzh and you know they're a little bit more masculine too so that androgyny that i like to implant into my my style definitely served the purpose and i love to stuff these in my boots my over the knee boots let me just double check i didn't skip any clothing items and then we're going to move into the um the shoe department okay oh I did forget one thing. 
I forgot one thing in the clothing area. This black dress from Lime by K. I chose this because you need a little black dress in every capsule, but this is a maxi length um, dress and that's what I feel more, more comfortable in. Um, I don't do like short dresses, short black dresses like that. I don't have a lot of them actually. I don't think at all. Maybe one. Um, but I said, let me try one that has a bit of a twist to it. Again, I didn't want to do basic, basic. I said, let me do things that have a little bit of specialty them, specialty to them, whether it's a color, a button, a, a flare, like, you know, this twist area here. And this also went with a couple of different I options that really just worked well. And throughout this video, I hope you, I, I will be posting like, you know, the outfits that I've shown so far on TikTok. I do post them daily on TikTok and then later in the day, I repost them here on YouTube as well in case you, you're not living there and we're only living here, which is fine, which is fine. I'm going to just, it's the duality of it all. We've covered everything in the clothing department. Moving on to the shoes. So this was really hard because I feel that Coats and shoes should be off limits when it comes to having a tight knit capsule. But I wanted to really try um, and I opted for the coats to stay out of this, right? So for me, I said, what is what is the what are the shoes that can go with all these outfits that serve as sporty, ladylike, comfortable, um, clean cut, maybe something that's more of like a everyday kick around situation so I, I chose a few different items so the first item that off the top i was like no brainer for me a pair of 70s chuck taylors in the cream color i also have these in navy but i feel that the cream color it gives a flair of artsy especially when they're a little dingy but they can go with so many different options of clothing it is insane how many outfits a pair of chucks like these can go with whether it's something a bit more dressed up like you could wear a full suit and wear a pair of these and it just gives you a little bit of flair like oh okay who was that you know gives a little bit of a personal touch so definitely 70s and it's the 70s chuck taylor not the regular converses the 70s the toes are different and the cushion in the shoe is different as well um these are the originals so I, I don't like I don't like the other converses. They, they make my, to me they make my foot look a little clownish. So I stay away from those. Another one that went with so many outfits and I feel like I kind of overused it in comparison to the other shoes were a pair of um, loafers. So these Amy Leon Dor loafers go oh my god especially in this colorway. I mean clean cut basic super chic. The quality, the thickness, and it's it's just a it's a great shoe. It's a great shoe, and I said, okay, this has to be incorporated because this can go with so many different colorways and outfit variations. Um, as far as level of comfort, yes, we have the Converse uh, Chuck Taylors, but those sometimes can make your feet feel a little tired. So I was like, let's throw in a dad sneaker. Let's throw in a dad sneaker, the New Balances. Y'all know how I feel about it. I'm from Baltimore. We've been wearing these things since day one. Like everybody's been on it recently, but these are the 2002s. Listen, it's a no brainer. This goes with so many things as well. If you're feeling dad sneaker-ish, if that's your vibe, have it in the capsule. I felt like this goes with so many things. And I honestly, I didn't show it as much. I'm going to, I think I'm going to make a few more outfit videos with the capsule that I have because I don't think I use this enough for the outfits that I have for the 31 days. But yeah, this is clutch. Um, and then I do have three pairs of boots because they serve different purposes. Like this one's a lot more clean cut. It's my Alexander Wang riding boot with the metal tip there these are super old i don't know what season they came from they have the vibram bottoms they are so freaking comfortable and durable um but i wanted something that had that flat leather situation and 
I just feel like they go with so much and it looks clean. Like if you have something that's a little bit more fitted around the leg, like a dress or a skirt, they do lay flat, nice and um, flat underneath or it doesn't bring as much attention where it shows like, um, like excess material under a dress. Like it just, it fits clean. If you know what I mean, fits clean. So a riding boot. Um, a combat boot. Now these are mad extra. These are extra. Um, they're not as popular as they once were when they came out, but honestly, they're still being sold. I think it's a classic situation for Prada to have um, every season. But I said, let me throw in my combat boots because it is January. The snow might come around. I need to hit the pavement super hard. I'm going to wear these. And most of the time, I actually take these off. I don't wear these all the time unless my my outfit is oh my god i forgot one clothing item shoot a pair of black leather um i mean a pair of black leggings we know what they look like i i have a certain pair that is my go-to to temi don't be mad that i can't pronounce that correctly if i didn't pronounce it correctly i love the brand either way let me know if i pronounced it correctly to temi to temi Okay, but yeah, if I'm wearing an all black fit and it's like just leggings and a black tee, I'm keeping the little baggies on there. Yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. Um, and another pair of boots that I was like, oh, of course, an over the knee suede boot. So with the theme of boots, I'm keeping it simple, but textures or different qualities and design, that's what creates a story you know what i'm saying so these are super old as well um super old but you also have i keep my things nice okay i keep my things nice i keep them stuffed look at look at that look 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 bodies from amazon these little these little fillers okay and it keeps it standing tall you know proud and tall anyway but these are from saint laurent and i love these because i love how they slouch down around my ankle and i also love to stuff pants and like those dent of the jeans that i showed you guys stuff those into the the pair of pants stuff those into the boot I'm getting tired and it just looks chic it just looks chic and then finally wait these are all the shoes that i had Hold on, hold on, let me double check that. Let me double check that. Okay, yeah. My lady shoe, I don't know why I keep calling it lady shoe. My, my pair of heels are the Dries Van Noten. I chose the silhouette because it's super classic. The texture is a wool, actually it's a wool fabrication, striped wool, and they're my fave. They have a few of these still left on ukes.com in different colors and fabrications. I think mostly leather, like blues and pinks, um, which also the blue is a teal, like a dark teal that they made for this collection. But I was like, OK, the heel isn't too crazy. Um, the toe isn't too crazy where it's squeezing the heck out of my feet. It actually is shaped around the structure of my feet so I'm not feeling scrunched up in the front but it just looks so tasteful with so many different options from pants to dresses to denim um so that was my lady shoe that I picked and as I was speaking I remembered one more piece and I think that does conclude I think it's 31 pieces all together that I discuss including not shown let me just see oh here we go I mentioned this before that silky satiny pants are going to be a thing that we're going to like it's not on trend report I haven't seen it on a trend report but I'm seeing that a lot of designers have it as a basic piece um, in their collections it's just a simple satiny even like a pajama pant that's what it's giving but something that has that nice beautiful silky hand to it and honestly, it goes so well with like a cute little mule, Converse sneaker, something like that, a pair of loafers. And these go with so many different variations as well. And it, it gives the row. It gives the row. It gives Theory. It gives Jill Sander. It get, Fee Noel has two, two different types of this. She has it in a cream color. She has it in like a sagey green color too. 
I'll link it below. But all in all, you know, it was fairly easy to create so many different outfits out of these pieces. I think it is really smart to, you know, maximize your closet, maximize each piece that you have in your closet where you can create seven to 10 outfits, which this, I definitely can. I see why people do it. I see why people focus on it. I cannot extract all of what I have, okay, to make this happen every day for me. No, I, I wouldn't do this as a lifestyle for myself because I love fat, my fashion items way too much to give them up, first of all. Second of all, I just think, you know, this is a great everyday situation, especially when you don't want to think about what you want to wear that day. But I just had so much more fun with like creating other types of looks and having so many other types of statement pieces. I feel that this capsule is very basic. It, for me, it's basic. It's fun. It still gets character. But for me, it's basic overall in comparison to what I have in my closet and what I think my style is. Um, but yeah, I think that for me, helping other people as my clients, I would take this approach when building their wardrobe from scratch. I would I would um, advise someone who was rebuilding their entire aesthetic from scratch to start off with 31 to 35 pieces of clothing, shoes, and coats to really understand how they would utilize their wardrobe and maximize it to its fullest potential. Um, it, this is fun. I'm still, I mean, obviously we're in the middle of the month almost and you know, I'm posting these outfits and these looks every day. I'm not going to post all of them up here because I did batch them because it's, listen, listen, I'm a content creator. I have to batch. I run a business. I don't have time to do it every single day. Now, I will do some get ready with me in real time, right? But I figured, let me do all of them right now. And I might just take like the day of the 27th. I might wake up and be like, you know what? I'm going to put that on. I'm put that on today because this makes sense. I batch a lot of things because it just is better for my time. Um, I'm not gonna post all of them. Like I said, I'll post up until today's post to show you guys um, the looks that these create, these pieces created. So it's a lot of fun and it was easy. And if someone were to challenge me to do it again for maybe a summer capsule, you can comment below and let me know how you feel about that. Thank you for staying on this far. I hope you liked it. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends about me. And I'll see y'all on Tuesday. Bye.